In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your GoDaddy domain over to Hostinger. This is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial, so watch it until the end and I'll show you everything that you need to do. So first, go to GoDaddy, make sure you're logged in, and it will be important here to go over to your product. So click on My Products and it will then show you your domains. From here, you can choose what domain you want to connect to Hostinger. I'm going to choose this one here, searchbasemethod.com. So go to Hostinger, go ahead and log into your Hostinger account as well. Now, once you're on Hostinger and you've logged in, you want to go to Hosting. From here, you should see your hosting plan. You can see mine is the business web hosting. And what I want to do now is click on this three dots, then click Add Website. What we can do here is we can now add a new website. So it's going to ask you what is your website type. I'm just going to say here online store, but you can skip through all of this if you want. So now we can create a new website. So click select and I'm going to build it from scratch. So I'm going to click here, skip. I will start from scratch. Now it's going to ask you to enter a domain. So what I'm going to do is click here where it says use an existing domain and we're using a domain that we've bought from GoDaddy. So click select and then we need to enter in the domain here. So I'm entering in searchbasemethod.com, but you would go ahead and copy your domain, right? So go ahead and paste in your domain, then click continue. Okay, so now you've done that, Hostinger will then see where your domain's been registered before. So you can see it's been registered before in GoDaddy. We can go ahead and continue. And what we need to do now is connect our domain to the Hostinger web servers. So click connect and it will then open up this window. And what we need to do now is change the domain name servers to hostingers. So let's start by doing that. So first what we need to do is log into GoDaddy and find the old name servers. So go to GoDaddy, go to your domain, go to DNS, and from here you should see name servers. So click on name servers, and here you can see here are the old ones here. Now what we're gonna do is change these name servers to Hostinger's name servers. So go back to GoDaddy and click change name servers. Now you'll have two name servers, which you can go ahead and copy in from Hostinger. So you can see here's the first one. We're gonna copy it and we're gonna replace it with the first one. Now we'll copy the second one, and again, we'll replace it with the second one. Now we'll click save, and that should be all good. Continue and verify. And I'm gonna to have to just enter in a passcode here. So I'm gonna get that from my email and enter it now. Okay, so I've just got that code from my email. It did take around 10 minutes to come through. So if it doesn't come through in seconds for you, then just be patient and then click on verify. And that's then going to verify your identity and it's then going to change the name servers, right? So now once we've done that, we can go back to Hostinger and click on continue and you can see the name servers have been set. So we can click finish. So now we've connected the name servers from GoDaddy to Hostinger and now everything should be up and running. Now it can take up to 48 hours to be confirmed, but let's just view the website and see. So here is the default page here right so now what we need to do is either choose wordpress or hostinger's website builder now to do that you want to go to your control panel so go ahead and click on manage site and that will take you into your hostinger control panel you can see here is your dashboard and you can go to auto installer and here you can install wordpress or any of these other cms platforms here so that's how you do it i hope that video helped you out let me know in the comments if you've got any questions